she was always brave. She was unafraid completely of all animals. She used to sit in the stall with her pony and read her book and just lay on the horse. She's always been very observant, kind of watchful, and mature. She's very determined. She always has been, even from 14 when I first started with her. She always wants to do her best. She's very focused and she's great under pressure. In fact, the more pressure she's under, probably the better she rides and she thrives on it. So she's got all the skills really to go to the top. The thing with Emily is she enjoys it, which I think is a really big part of it. She loves her horses, which I think a lot of people do, you love the animals, but she loves them in the competitive way and she sees them for that and she loves it when they want to win with her and that certain connections you can see that with different horses and I think that's a big thing. Before I started working for Porden I've seen Emily competing at a very high level. I was a bit shocked to realise how young she is because you know she's been doing big stuff at a young age. She always seemed very determined, gutsy fighter. It's a pleasure to work with somebody who, who is determined to improve, who has a steel in them that is, uh, you know, never give up sort of an attitude. And obviously, for me, the main quality that Emily has is, even though she's tough, she's a kind person, and the horses sense that. I mean, horses jump great for Emily, which is, is nice to work with. You can see horses very sympathetic to her, and she gets the best out of them. I don't think she even thinks about failure. I think she purely thinks she wants to be the best. She has an interesting way of thinking where you just think you are going to do it. It isn't I might or I want to. If you speak to her, she's like, I am going to. Her goal from when she first started was she wanted to go to the Olympics. That's always been her dream. She's improved dramatically over the last two to three years beyond all comprehension. To keep at the top, it's all about consistency, not fluking a win here and there. And also learning, if you have a bad day, learning to get over it and go on to the next day. A lot of riders I've seen, it's all good when they're winning at the top, but then something goes wrong, you don't really see them again. It's those ones that can come back from it to be able to rise above and prove to yourself and the horse, we can do it better next time. Emily's ambition knows no limits. I think she is extremely ambitious and prepared to work very hard and do whatever it takes to, to be at a high level. I think there's a bright future there.